Hey guys, it's Krista. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm hopping on. I am doing some face-to-face, -face, like face-to-camera videos today. Um, I'm very much looking forward to doing some of these videos. So I have a few that I wanted to film. Um, so you will see me in the same shirt with the same background for a few videos. So I apologize, but I just want to kind of bust through these videos and get them filmed and posted for you guys. So I have some empties. I'm going to do an empties video to start with. Um, so these are some empties from the past like couple weeks or so. Um, I still have some that I'm collecting from this week that I'm working on. So this is kind of everything from my last empties. So I have a candle um, and I'll talk about the candle at the end, but we'll start first with some of like the Scentsy Bars. I have a few scent shot cups and then we'll kind of move into the other items in the bags after I get through these things. So the first item I did warm, I can't remember exactly what order I did these in, but I did uh, warm this one from Scentsy. I have three Scentsy bars to talk about. So I did warm this one in Blueberry Rush. This one is really nice actually. It's like a candy blueberry scent to me. That's just kind of how it comes off. But I really liked this one. It performed really well. So I just had this one bar to test out. Um, but if I ever saw this come back, like and I bring back my bar or something, I would pick up more. I did enjoy it. Um, we have this one from the like Nightmare Before Christmas collection. That is Jack's Obsession. This one is like my favorite from that collection. I love this one. Um, so this one is like apple, I think clove and like cinnamon or something. It's just like a really nice, fresh, juicy apple with like the touch of cinnamon. It's so good. And like the spice isn't too heavy. It's very, like it's there, it's noticeable, but it's not overpowering. So I feel like if you even aren't a big fan of spice, you might like this. I think it's really good. I do enjoy it this one um and this one I think I only have like one more of these so I gotta get more or like put it in my club or something before it goes away because I really do love that one um and then I did do gimme candy which I really liked this one this one was a pretty good performer not gonna lie going into this one I wasn't really sure how well it would perform because to me it's kind of like a I mean it kind of gives off like a candy corn vibe um but it's just kind of like almost like a vanilla base scent to me. Like I wasn't sure if it was going to like perform that well because I know sometimes vanilla is not the strongest, but this one was really good on, on warm. I really liked it. Um, it's very sweet. So I don't know, I don't know if it's a scent for everyone if you're not really into like sweet gourmand scents or like even if you like bakery, I'm sure some people might not love this just because it is like really sickeningly sweet almost. But I actually really loved it. This one I did on, I didn't do it on Halloween. I was going to, but we ended up like having stuff going on on Halloween. And like I wasn't home a lot. So I did it the next day, but it was still really nice. And I really enjoyed it. So I hope this one comes back next year. Fingers crossed. I don't know. But if it does, I would get more. I don't know. I may have to put it in my club. I don't know or get a couple more before it goes away. I'm not really sure, but I did really like that one. It was really nice. Um, and then the Sunshot Cups I had that I finished, these ones are from like last year, so they were definitely needing to get used. So to kind of use them up and like, you know, whoops, as I throw them all over the place, um, to use them up, I wanted to kind of, I figured the best way to do this, to warm them, would be to do it like kind of all together. Um, so I literally put one of these in each of my warmers here in my open area where I am. And I can't really say too much about them. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to sit here and like explain much about them because I fully didn't get a lot out of them. But, and these are from Fantasy Wax Melts. I didn't actually say that yet. Um, but the day that I did warm these, we ended up turning the AC on, which is crazy. The fact that I used the AC in November blows my mind, but it was like in the 70s, almost 80 degrees out. It was blowing my mind. Like literally the weather here has been 
so weird for this month, like for November. You wouldn't think it would be that warm, but it's been pretty warm some days. So the specific day that I warmed these on, I can't hold these. I got to put these down. Um, it was really warm. So we ended up putting our AC on because we were dying. So I don't know. Again, I feel like sometimes the AC can affect scents that happen, like that go throughout our apartment during that time. Like when the AC is on, I feel like sometimes it's hard to gauge the scent really. So I don't know. These ones were kind of a letdown for me just because of that. But I used them up, so I mean, I'm happy I at least got through those. I think I have one more left, so I will eventually get to that one at some point here, and I will, you know, go through that and talk about that when I finish that one. Um, so the last items are bags, um, and I'm just going to kind of grab and go. I'm not going to, you know, go in any particular order. Um, so I got through a sample from L3 Waxy Wonders, and that is This is Halloween, the notes are Dreamsicle, Fresh Picked Strawberries, and Berry Tea. This one I did in our bathroom. It was just a small sample. But this one was unique. It was really pretty, though. To be honest, I feel like this is not at all what I thought this scent would be. Just because it's a Halloween scent, I guess this to me screams more spring and summer. Just because it's got, like, the Dreamsicle scent and strawberries and, like, the berry tea. I don't know. It screamed more spring and summer, but I did enjoy it. Um, I did Avis Country Cupboard Dreamy Lavender. This one is a really pretty scent. And actually, speaking of Avas, I just saw the other day, she is actually rebranding. So coming up here soon, I think this weekend she's having a sale. I think it's like 20% off. So she's going to do a sale. And then at some point here, she's going to like rebrand and like do a lot of changes, but I guess exciting changes. So that's pretty cool. Um, so she will no longer be Ava's Country Cupboard because I'm pretty sure she said she's changing her name as well. So that's different, but exciting. But this is so good. Her lavender is one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. I feel like this is the second time I've warmed this, but this one, like warming it again, I realized I really like it. And it's a really good performer. It leans more herbal, but then you do get like kind of like a toasted marshmallow note with this one. So it is really nice. I did like this one and I'm assuming maybe she'll keep some of the same scents like when she rebrands. So if this is if this is ever available again, I would repurchase that one. Um, this one is a sample from Birdies Making Sense. So a little sample I tried out. This one is simply the best. It's glazed donut, fudge brownie, snickerdoodle cookie, and coffee house. This one was really good. I love her coffee and her chocolate. So you put it together, it's really, really good. It's mostly chocolate to my nose though, like on warm and even on cold. I get most of that fudge brownie, but it's really, really good though. Really enjoyed that one. Um, I did pull in this sample. I don't think I like actually like pulled it in for like my melting basket, but I just kind of was running low on some like, excuse me, on some bathroom melts so i just pulled this sample in this is from tiffany of tiff talks here on youtube she is a consultant for pink zebra um and she sent me some samples and this is one of those and it is in the scent aqua marine and it's aqua water citrus and coconut but this one was really really pretty a very nice scent that i feel like would be really good for like spring and summer it has like that aquatic like coconut yeah, it's very aquatic, but then you do get that, like, really creamy coconut. The coconut is so good. I love it. So, like, this is something that I would probably order come, like, spring and summer. I think right now I'm I'm good, but I wanted to try the sample at least. So, I liked it. I really did. I think it's a really pretty scent. Um, This one from Vintage Chic Scents. This one is one I was hoarding for a while. I got this last year. This is Peanut Butter Bakery. Um, and it was in like a ghost face, like little shape here. Um, the notes on this are buttery vanilla, fresh rolled dough, gooey batter, peanut butter, and a hint of sugared almonds. This one was not super strong for me. And I warmed it in two different spots because I wanted to kind of like give it a fair shot and just see like, oh, you know, maybe, maybe in a smaller area 
it would perform better for me. So I did it in my open concept and then I did it after in my office. And it was maybe like a light medium both times I warmed it. So I was kind of disappointed just because I had this for like a year. So I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I've heard people say that her stuff performs better when it sits a long time. So I'm like, did I make, did I like let this sit too long? Or is it just the scent just didn't perform well in my home? I don't know. So I don't know. And I just placed an order with Vintage Chic. So I still have some other stuff to try out. So I don't know if it's just this one scent. Maybe my other stuff will perform better. I'm not really sure. Um, so these two I'm kind of combining together because I finished this bag of Mario Melters with the sample here. Um, so they're both like blueberry, kind of like berry, dark berry notes. So I mixed this with the Boo Spooky Castle from Rose Girls. Um, I just had a couple of little cubes of this left, um, but I had warmed this mostly in my open concept. I love this scent from Rose Girls. This is a really nice one. So I think I'm okay this year as far as Mario Melters, but next year if she has that again, the Mario Melters, I would totally get this scent. Again, I really enjoyed it. So Boo Spooky Castle, it's notes of blueberry, which is like the cereal type with vanilla crunch donuts and monster cookies. So really, really good. I liked it just by itself. Um, and then I did kind of incorporate this with this just to kind of finish um, this bag off. I only had two cubes left. So really good performer, really liked that scent. Um, so with that scent, I just kind of wanted to keep the same scent notes kind of. So I mixed it with uh, Blueberry Cobbler, sorry. Blueberry Cobbler from Birdies Making Scents. It was like a little square, like snap bar kind of piece. And it's really good. So I thought the Blueberry Cobbler and the blue, uh, the Booze Spooky Castle went really well together. It was just a nice way to kind of, you know, finish off that bag. And my whole like open area smelled really good. Just like, kind of just like blueberry, like sweetened blueberry. It was really, really nice. I did enjoy that. Um, and it looks like I have three more here from Birdies and then one from a different, another vendor. Um, so this one from Birdies Making Sense is Cherry Barkwood, Firewood, and a Hint of Pistachio Ice Cream. This one was unique. I actually really enjoyed this one. I did it also, I think, in my open area and then in my office. Like, I had a couple, like, little bits left, so I just did it in my office to finish it. But it was really pretty. A nice one to put in for, like, a nighttime blend. Yeah, you get, like, the woodsy notes. But then you get like a hint of sweetness with that pistachio. Really unique, really nice. I did enjoy this one and I would repurchase this again if it ever comes back. Um, and then this one, oh my God, you guys, this one. I loved this one. This one was probably my favorite of the birdies making sense that I got through for like this couple of week, like period here. It has pumpkin pecan waffles and I was... I still love pumpkin pecan waffles. I think I'm like needing maybe a little breather from it, but loved this scent. And I want more of this one eventually. This one um, is a customer blend created by Ruanthi, I think is her name. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Um, but this one is called The Mad Scientist and it's Sugar Cookie Royale, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles and Zucchini Bread. You guys, this was heavenly so delicious. I had it going in our open area and like I just and I worked from home that day. That was another reason why I put it in that specific day because I was working from home. So I wanted to be able to like get a feel for the scent itself. It was so good and it performed so like strong. Like out of 10 it was probably like I don't know, like an eight, like it was pretty good. It didn't like blow you out of the house. Like it wasn't like I needed to shut my warmers off or anything, but it was so strong, so good. And like, I took a shower and then I opened the bathroom door and like, I got hit with this scent. And I said to my husband, I was like, doesn't it smell so good in here? Like I was just drooling <laughs> over this scent. I loved it so much. Oh my God, I want more of this one. So yeah, really, really good. Recommend this one. I, I don't know if she'd pour it at this point just because pumpkin pecan waffles is kind of like a fall scent. I feel like she's kind of transitioning now into like winter, 
like Christmas kind of scents. So I don't know. I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for this one though. I need it. I need more of it. It was absolutely delicious. Um, and then this one was a cute little egg shape. It was like little deviled eggs. I love her shapes. They're so cute. This one is Yolks on You, which is yellow cake, powdered donut, butterscotch, and a hint of banana cream pie. Now this one was really nice. I did really like this one. I would repurchase it. I think though, I have found that I really do enjoy banana in wax. Initially, I wasn't a fan of banana in wax, but I've grown to like banana. And I, I feel like that's the thing in this one. It says a hint of banana cream pie, but I feel like I didn't get the banana. So although it was a scent I really did enjoy, like I would repurchase this one. I almost was like hoping the banana would come out a little bit, but it didn't really come out that much for me. But that's just me. It, it could have come out for other people. Um, I still really loved it though. I really, really enjoyed that one. Um, and then this one is from Villainous Wax. It's a vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And this was a nice scent. It was kind of like a light medium. I mean, it was like a marshmallow kind of scent. So going into it, I wasn't sure if it was going to be super strong to begin with. Um, I could smell it though. Like every now and again, I got like a little hit of this scent. Like I got like a whiff of it. Um, and it was nice. It almost kind of want, it almost makes me kind of want I can't talk today. It almost makes me like want to try that candle from Bath and Body Works. I'm pretty sure this is like a dupe for that. I'm assuming. I thought they had a candle that was vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And I've never purchased that candle. But having this in wax, it smells really good. And I feel like I would enjoy the candle. So maybe next year, if it does come out in candle form, I would get this one. Like get it in a candle. I really, I did enjoy it. I want to try it in a candle. So that is it for the wax melts. That is what I got through since my last empties. So I'm going to just talk about a candle really quick. Um, this is from Bath and Body Works. I got through this one. It's pumpkin carving. Yeah, at this, you know, at, when it got to this point, it kind of starts to smell a little smoky. It wasn't really, you know, giving off much fragrance. Um, but this one performed pretty well. It wasn't too bad. There's like a little bit of soot on the edges a little bit, but I don't really mind. I think this candle is just a staple. I love this scent. This is one that's always going to be a repurchase. Anytime I can get this candle, like for the fall, I'm all for it. I will definitely buy like a couple of them. I have one more that's on my stove right now in our kitchen. So I'm kind of burning that one here and there. Um, but I am, I'm getting really excited for like Christmas tree you know, like cranberry, minty. I'm kind of getting, you know, little cravings for some like Christmas scents. So I'm excited to kind of jump into those fragrances kind of here soon. So I'll burn that candle as much as I can, but it might end up rolling over till next year. We shall see. But I got through one of them. So I did finish that up as well. So my bin is empty. So those are my empties that I got through since my last empties video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and, you know, enjoyed listening to what I got through and stuff like that. So I'm going to go dispose of these items. I'll be back in a couple minutes <laughs> with another video. So yes, you guys will see me in the same shirt, same spot. So I hope you don't mind. Um, but I just wanted to get some videos filmed. So yeah, so I'll see you guys shortly here soon, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to give the video a like if you did enjoy it and subscribe if you are not already. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.